This is the installation and usage guide for the USB accelerometer ADD XL3 for 5. What we opened is the nozzle mount. Inside this box is our accelerometer. Put the accelerometer to the bracket using screws. It comes in two versions. Their config a bit differently. Today, we'll be demonstrating the ADD XL345 sensor. Now we jump to the official website to flash the bootloader firmware onto the accelerometer. In the product documentation under the toolboard. Let's open up the USB firmware compilation. Make sure the board is completely powered off. Press and hold the boot button on the accelerometer. Then connect one end of a Type-C cable to the board. Now, let's download the firmware. Connect it to the computers. Next, find the boot button and press and hold it. Insert the Type-C. Paste the downloaded file into. Don't worry if the device disappears that's worked. Due to previous tutorial issues, customers who purchased before June 28, 2025 are advised to reflash the BL firmware. Before flashing the firmware, you need to use a host with the Clipper service already installed. Start by connecting your PC to the host using the Type-C port on the host. Next, connect the accelerometer to the host. If you're using the original system, make sure to switch the username to Fly. We are using the Fly as fast system here, the login as root. If you're compiling firmware for the first time, please take a moment to read through this guide before proceeding. After going through the steps above, you're ready to start compiling the firmware. Now, paste the command and press enter to run it. Select enable extra low level configuration options and press enter. Enter the menu microcontroller architecture and then select Raspberry Pi RP20 for ORP to 35X and press Enter. Select Bootloader Offset and choose 16 kilobytes Bootloader. Then compare with the last image in the tutorial to check if any selection was made incorrectly. Press the Q and then press Y to save. After it finishes compiling, check the final output. As long as it matches the web. Then we search for the device ID. Make sure the host is connected to the internet, and that the cable you're using to connect the accelerometer to the host is a not just for power. Enter LSUSB to check if the device shows up. If there is no output, it may be an issue with the system, you can try reflashing the host. If running the LSUSB command shows devices but does not list 1D50-6177, this indicates that the specific device is not being recognized. Try switching to a different USB cable and plug the board into another USB port on your host. Make sure you see the device with ID 1D50-6177 in the output before moving on. Now, let's search the board ID.
Copy the command below. To the SSH terminal and select paste to insert the command, then press enter. This is the final step flashing the firmware to the board. Copy the flashing command, then replace what's after the equals. Now copy the board ID that you just found and press enter. The next step is to read the board's ID. Since multiple IDs are listed, we need to identify and copy the correct RP2040 board ID. Copy the provided reference configuration. Here you should replace it with the probe point. The center is calculated by taking half of the bed's length and half of its width. For example, with a VZ bot 235 bed size 235 times 235 mm, dividing both by 2, both the X and Y axes are 117.5. The value of 20 is the Z axis drop height. After making your changes, just hit save and restart. Here's how you make use of the accelerometer in your setup. Let's do the homing first. To install the accelerometer, we'll drop the Z-axis a bit. Then install the accelerometer. Switch to the console and send the command accelerometer query. You'll see the at XL3 for 5 values. Copy the command shepherd calibrate. The printer will start calibrating the X and Y axes right away. This calibration can take quite a while usually around 10 to 20 minutes. If you only want to calibrate one axis, you can use shepherd calibrate axis equals X or axis equals Y. Then let's copy and run save config. After entering the command, Clipper will restart. After the calibration is complete, we'll open the printer, CFG. Comment out or delete the accelerometer config. Click the save and restart button to update the config. Then we will remove the accelerometer. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.